So just briefly about Safe Work Australia, we're a tripartite body that works in partnership with governments, employers and employees to drive national work health and safety and workers' compensation policy development. We're governed by a group of members which has an independent chair and representatives from all the jurisdictions, including the Commonwealth, as well as two representatives each, two representatives each from our social partners representing employers and workers. It was set up in 2008 to oversee the harmonisation of WHS laws within Australia and our work promotes continuous improvements in safety outcomes and we really strive to ensure that they're practicable for small business and workers and, in, and, um, employ, and other groups of employers as well. Um, we'd like to see ourselves as a key source of information um, as well as as well as data and research on WHS policy issues and also on workers' compensation. So onto occupational lung disease. Well, I'm sure many of you are very well aware of many of the common occupational lung diseases in Australia as, as WHS professionals, um, but we've grouped them together in this infographic for the purposes of our campaign into diseases like work-related asthma, COPD, the pneumoconiosis or fibrotic lung diseases, which includes coal workers pneumoconiosis and various forms of silicosis. But there are also other forms of occupational lung diseases that are, that are present in Australia. Hypersensitive pneumonitis, toxic pneumonitis, alveolar proteinosis. But what's also not on this slide are, are some of the cancers. We're well aware of mesothelioma, for example, that's associated with asbestos inhalation but also infectious diseases like COVID-19 and Q fever, which is also a feature of this campaign. Last year, we published a review of occupational lung diseases in Australia from 20, 2006 to 2019. And I'd really encourage you to have a look at this review if, if you're interested in, in more details. It really synthesized the available data from the peer-reviewed literature, grey literature, and all the, also other um, data sets um, to try and set, um, make some conclusions about the incidence, prevalence, and trends in occupational lung diseases in Australia. Its main conclusions are on the slide that the incidence of coal workers' pneumoconiosis and silicosis is increasing. Claims for asbestos-related diseases continue to decline, but unfortunately, deaths are increasing. Claims for work-related asthma appear to be declining, but there's evidence internationally that suggests that these may be underreported. But in general, there are really few available data in, within Australia on other occupational lung diseases. 